calamari is on the menu. I thought that was supposed to do things! Indiana Jones! Chocolate rain! It pours down from that large old sewer drain. Chocolate rain! Zombie tadpoles trying to eat my brain. Chocolate rain! Oh god! Howdy. Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. Happy Thursday night to you. As the blade signal is up, folks are coming in to Boomtown. We've got a couple of new horror games for our slaying needs tonight. And then we're going to be rolling right into Withering Rooms, which is, that is the best survival horror game on the market right now. Just Chef's Kiss, fantastic game. If you want to support the broadcast, you guys always know what to do. Do the YouTube thing, like the stream. You can support the broadcast through Super Chats or becoming a member. Or you can send Blurp to bring your own comedic silence to the show. Cheers to everybody who joins the adventure tonight. Did you enjoy the Fallout series? I think I overhyped it. It was just okay. I watched the whole thing last night. I could barely get past the first four episodes because it was just so boring. It was really well shot, and it looks great, and they really capture Fallout fantastically. The set pieces are great. I just was bored. I don't know why. I was just bored. I was bored for the first three or four episodes, and then when they got all the character introductions out of the way, it started actually putting some storylines in there and some plots. It got better, but yeah. I started bored, now I'm mildly intrigued. I overhyped myself. I way overhyped myself. I went into that just so freaking giddy, and I never do that, and I blew it for myself. Didn't live up to my expectations, but it wasn't badly done. It was a very well done show. But very good video game adaption. You watched the first two episodes? It, it wasn't bad, I was just bored. It wasn't bad. I just, I was like... I was bored. Solid eight. Yeah, it's, it's a well-made show. I just, I was bored. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Marcelo. Hello, Dan. I heard that the X-Men episode was that came out, episode five, is gut-wrenching. Yeah, I've heard this. I've seen a bunch of memes on the internet of people pouring a drink for their homie. Something happened. I don't know what it is yet, so we'll, we'll have to see. Hello, Eric. Hello, Dan. What's up, Soul Gambler? Hello, Steven. Hello, Aaron. What up, Mama Justice? The show Chucky hits the spot? I don't even, that's another problem that I got. I don't like killing time, necessarily. So while I was watching Fallout, and because I felt myself getting bored, I was constantly doing other stuff, like editing clips and reading articles online. And it, again, it's not because the show's bad, it just bored me. Now, that's, not a, that's not a show problem. The show was really well shot and really well made. And the casting's fantastic. Walton Goggins is the ghoul. Is just, it's good stuff. Let's fire up our first game of the night. This game is an underwater horror game, which you know what that means. Papa's going to be facing his fears. Because I love being underwater. Somebody made tribute? No, nobody made tribute. But I, I, I am here! Hey! Coming to the door like a hero! Oh, boy!
crap. I already don't remember what this game is called. It just says on my task manager, first person BP game template. You watched first episode, it was pretty good. Yeah, I recommend it if you're a Fallout fan. If you're a Fallout fan, it's it's really, really well made. I don't know why. I, I have diagnosed it the fact that I overhyped it. Like, I bumped my stream up last night early so I could watch this stupid show, which I never do. That's how hyped about it I was. And I just think I overhyped it in my mind. And I was expecting to have my, have my just mind blown and it didn't happen. But that's not the show's fault. That's my fault. Let's go. Jesus, Jones and Jehoshaphat. Why is it so loud? I guess because I am underwater, that makes sense. Suction gun. So, can I only use one thing at a time? Oh, I can only use one thing at a time. Okay. Sealant gun. Something else gun. I wish the game would tell me what to do. $4.99 from Mel Millennial. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby, to you. Our first tribute of the night. Tribute has been made to the League of Blades in that tribute. It's from Melton Millennial. Melton, thank you, my friend, so much for supporting some justice. What's up, Brandon? Are those tiny tick bugs? All the boogers have been popped. Or not. There's still a booger somewhere. Found them. Gotta get all the boogers. Now can I go through? No. More boogers. More boogers? Maybe I gotta put this down first. How are you? Hello. I'm under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. Some gifted memberships have been given out. We've got five new members to welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Five new heroes trained up and brought into the fold by the great and powerful Mama Justice. Mama has knighted Tim Harad, DTG, Soul Gambler, Ariel HM, and Ahmad as our newest Blade Masters. Welcome, Eagles Fly. You feel the skies. We welcome our newest Blade Masters. And thank you so much to Mama Justice for the five gifted memberships. Thank you. I'm not new. I'm just renewed. Let me... 
Welcome back, all of the Blade Masters who were already Blade Masters before. Sure, there's a lot of ticks down here. Okay, anything else got any boogers on it? Where the boogers at? Oh, this needs to be sealed. There's a. There Was that the movie? There's only one. David Spade movie that I like. And it's the one with where he's Joe Dirt. The one with where he's Joe Dirt. Seal them cracks, Daddy. Got it. That is incredibly satisfying. Welcome back, Vex. Now... What needs to be done up there? Suction gun? I think I gotta suck this stuff. Get sucked! I'm sucking it! I'm sucking it good! Okay. Here we go! Okay, that opened the door. That's very cool. Do I just leave the toolbox here and go through the next side? I guess I do. I'm trying to shut this and take it to the next room, but it won't work. I guess I leave it. Very good, very nice. Hey, Michael. Maxim. I would love to install my toolbox, but the other one over here wouldn't let me take the toolbox out. Oh, there we go. Release toolbox. Hey, Manhattan. these little things see amoebas scotty i probably missed the discussion but how'd you like fallout i watched six episodes i've not, not finished it completely i watched seven i started seven i fell asleep i overhyped it it's a very well-made show if you're a fallout fan it's gorgeous it's it honors the integrity of the world of fallout the characters are all really well cast but I overhyped it, and it the first four episodes really bored me. I almost didn't get through episode two. I about just went and did something else. That's not the show's fault. I just was bored for whatever reason. There was plenty of action. I was just bored. But it picks up after, like, episode three or four. I started to get into it more. You just got to do all the crap where you got to introduce the characters and give the characters backstories and then have the characters get to know each other but I don't care about any of the characters, so it's hard for me to get into it when I don't care about the characters. Hydraulic hammer. I like the ghoul pretty good. The ghoul's pretty cool. 
Also, the dude that plays Maximus reminds me of a, a young Denzel Washington. He's got all the same facial features. Seven out of ten. That's probably where I'd give it. It is a very good video game adaption. It's it's well done. I would chalk it up to I just overhyped it. That's my fault. I was I've not been that excited about a show in a long time, and I I absolutely overhyped it to myself. Hey, Michelle. I'd say solid 7 out of 10 is where I'd probably give it. Suction cup. Um, I'm glad you like it. You, you're allowed to like it. I hope you enjoy it. stuff down here This is my worst nightmare. Be careful, what do you want me to do? What do you mean died on a mission? What was I supposed to do? Maybe I was supposed to fight him with my hydraulic hammer, maybe. I just didn't happen to have that one with me. You thought I broke the game? I might have. I don't think I was supposed to escape his initial launch. I don't know I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> it's I don't know. No clue what was up with that. I guess those are sea anemones. Anemones. Imagine a game where you die in the tutorial. Imagine how Scotty Blades plays video games. That's how I play video games. I play them very dumbly. For entertainment purposes. I mean, that's just... I think it's sea enemas. Sea amoebas. Wait! An enema is what you stick up your butt for medicine, ain't it? It's sea amoeba.
That's a suppository? I bet you amoeba. What's up, Greg? An enema is where you put water up your butt? Oh, same thing. Water is just the world's disinfectant. I'm gonna come. The only reason I follow Trump on social media is because I think I think he may be the king of memes. And it's not him running his account. I'm pretty sure he's paid somebody to run his Instagram account and that they're just really, really good at memes. But I'm pretty sure Trump's a walking, talking meme machine. He knows what he's doing. He just flat called out Biden today or last night and was like, I'm here to challenge the worst president in the history of the United States. You know which one I'm talking about. It's Everybody agrees with me. Everybody agrees with me. The stats are there. He's the worst president we've ever had in the history of the United States. Like 300 years of presidents. He's the worst. <laughs> there is nothing presidential about that man. He's the worst president who ever lived. It's true. It's facts. You can look it up. I'm not the only one saying it. Everybody's saying it. Hey, Mark. Mm. Oh, yeah, I got to pump the pump up the volume here. Pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Ta-ta! Ta-ta! I feel pretty, I feel pretty, I feel pretty and witty. That's right, and I pity anyone who gets in my way. I feel witty, also witty. That's not how I feel, so I'm not going to say it. Be careful, Scotty Blades. Politics or a streamer's kryptonite. Hey, been doing this professionally for four years. I'll take that into consideration. Trying to get down? How am I supposed to avoid? He sucks me up. Where am I supposed to go? You do you. Well, you know, I have mentioned so many times on this show that I don't do politics and that I'm just making fun of the person, not the politics. I can make fun of Trump and not say, hey, go vote for him. I think he's the best, which is not what I said. I don't care who you vote for. And I don't care what your politics are. I don't care. As long as you're happy, that's all that makes me happy. I don't care. In fact, it's frowned upon to talk about politics. 
but it is funny to make fun of somebody, and I'm making fun of him. Because it's worth making fun of him for. Because he's an idiot. <laughs> but I'm an idiot. And I make fun of myself all the time. I survived. What's up, Hish? Where is my toolbox? Found it. So run. All right, that thing's open. What is beeping? I, the thing is in there. Maybe it got knocked out. We're making fun of Biden for a month. Hey, man. Politics is a streamer's kryptonite. What's up, Brian? Satisfaction! Satisfaction! Put it in, put it in! Yeah! Put some blade snakeskin condoms on there! Yeah! These little boogers are crawling around. You're voting for the pizza party? Now that's a party I can get behind. That is a party I can get by. Tired of smelling amazing? Want to get that wonderful smell of the new wilderness? Then come have this new perfume of Stag Axe smell of the natural environment. Stag? Get staggy. Hey, Heather. Pizza and the taco party? I can get behind that. You're only two episodes into Fallout and you really like it so far. Kind of surprised you're not a fan. Oh, it's okay. Everybody likes what they like and what they don't like. It's just not my favorite. Ain't no big deal. It just bored me. It doesn't mean that it's a bad show. It just bored me. But I'm not the biggest TV show guy. It's very tough for me to sit down and, and put a lot of effort into a TV show. They each their own? Oh, absolutely. I love Fallout. I really do think I just overhyped it to myself. And when it didn't just blow my mind, I just... You don't take kindly to folks that don't take kindly round here. <laughs> don't take kindly to folks that don't take kindly out there, what? Honest to goodness, the show gets better the more you watch it. The first few episodes, it's not the show's fault. They're just doing their best. This is not a spoiler whatsoever if you've not seen it. It's just one thing that bugged me was how there's three stories going on, right? And the, the wasteland's huge. It's all of North America for to keep things simple. It's just it's huge. And yet, our three main characters just keep running into each other. And it's convenient. You're like, oh, ain't that you I saw in that town back there? Ain't that you that I saw? In my... Is that something to be bugged about? Is that nitpicking? Yeah, it's nitpicking. Just little stuff like that just made me go like, I rolled my eyes. Little silly stuff like that. It's still like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I would highly recommend it to any Fallout fan. It just didn't tickle my, my giblets. But I overhyped it. I absolutely overhyped it. I, I moved my stream up last night so that I could watch it because I was that excited about it. And it delivered! It delivered! It was a very good Fallout. Like, it honored, it honored Fallout. Everything looks great. I 
I don't know why it didn't hit me in the fields. I don't know. Should have. I'm I'm dull to modern entertainment. I need a suction gun. You binge the whole thing? I watched six episodes and I was on the seventh episode and I fell asleep. Where's the suction gun? I had it. I watched the whole thing and fell asleep. I woke up this morning, TV was still on, and it was Gilmore Girls. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that monster's not chasing me no more. I could have swore I saw some green booger. There they are. The final episode had some foreshadowing in it. To, to bring, you know, faith back into the fold, every single episode, it does get better. Once it gets past the having to explain who, why they know each other and how their background is and why they behave the way they behave. It does get better. Hear me out. The main chick. She's weird pretty. Am I crazy for saying that? She's weird pretty. And Walter Goggins was born to play a ghoul, man. That freaking dude. It's Ooh. scary at first, but after you've seen it a couple of times, it just becomes weird. Yeah. Walter Goggins just oozes charisma. She's got scary eyes. Weird pretty. She's very pretty, but just in a non-traditional way. Weird. You hated her at first? Yeah, it's just she's weird pretty. It's hard to explain. I like her character. I, she's probably my... I, I think Walter... I think the ghoul's my favorite. I can't... Maximus is... Maximus is weird. Can't figure Maximus out. But he does remind me of a young Denzel Washington. He's got all the same facial expressions, facial features. She has an anime face? All right. I can see that. Yeah, I think Maximus might be my least favorite character. It's her eyes and her square jaw. It gives you AI vibes. Uncanny Valley. It was her personality. I get it, though. The whole naivete of being stuck in a vault for 200 years. And I, the way that the Fallout lore works, and you guys all know this, you're Fallout fans. I'm just saying it out loud. Is that each Fallout has got a program, like a, a, a shtick behind it. And there's, I think they mentioned it in the show, they are a matriarch matriarchity. And they're all, like, happy-go-lucky and... Everything's going to be okay because, you know, the keep shining, the sun's bright, a smile fixes all your problems, and just, just all this hippity-dippity-yoppity-dippity, like Mary Poppins, but the whole group is bred that way, so I get that. And then as the series goes on, you kind of see her become more grounded and more humanized and more traumatized, but not with trauma. She's more like exposed you love the actor who played maximus yeah he's like his his facial like he just he does really good portraying emotion but like you said the character's weird he's just a weird character but the dude that plays maximus is killing it as far as conveying worry and no self-assuredness greenhorn I don't know. It's... 
You know what's crazy about it is that even though I said that it starts off kind of boring for me, I feel like they really, really rushed all the character development. Like, I hated the way they introduced the ghoul. Hello. I How are you? hated it. I'm under the water. Please help me. I'm trying to figure out why she'd risk everybody's lives in the vault for her dusty old dad. <laughs> that's because that's her dad. <laughs> her dusty old dad. It's because it's her dad. I'd risk everything to save you guys. Everybody else can eat shit for all I care. <laughs> that's the League of Blades. Just reminded, that's that's in the first episode. That's in the first episode. That's in the first episode. It's in the trailer. The only reason we survived that last attack is because we was inside this little hole right here. We gotta find another hole to hide in and work. Looking for holes. Looking for holes. dollars from Jared Magic Man Johnson cheers the greatest group of heroes on the planet. Tribute the Magic Man himself casting a spell on everyone here. Thank you so much to Jared for the six bones. Thank you for that tribute. Cheers my friend. Thank you. Sealant gun, suction cup. What did I need? Sealant. Ah, I needed the hammer. Trust me, I'm always carrying a hammer. Oh, 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 oh. And big doo doo now. Put your hands out, folks. Got a round of super dogs coming in, courtesy of Zachary B. Get you a plus two in charisma, strength. Enjoy one now. 
I think the lesson that we're learning tonight is just don't talk about anything. Don't make a joke. It might be political related. Don't talk about the lore of a video game series. It might spoil something. Also, uh, Bruce Willis is a ghost in the sixth sense. Eat my ass. Qui-Gon Jinn dies in the Phantom Menace. Suck a, suck a super dog. OJ's dead. Why? No! We, no matter how good or bad a person is, we should never celebrate a person dying. That's it. Game over, man. People out here celebrating somebody dying. Death's permanent. He's gone forever. You know, even though he was a bad person, there was people who loved him. He had friends and family that cared about him. He probably didn't. <laughs> But that's not funny. The job's not done. giant wall of shit. Where do I gotta go next? Oh, here it is. Nope, we're not done. Hang on. Um... I don't see anything. What we need to do? Is there boogers? Wait a second. We gotta suck that. If you know, you know. Now, where's the red gate? Ah, no, it's not it. Where's the red gate? We gotta hurry up, man. That monster's gonna come back again. But I don't know where the I don't know where the box is at. Is it on up here? So apparently, you can learn coding in uh, four months. Basic coding, not an expert, but enough to you know make a program or something. So take that. If you really want to make a game or develop some app software, four months, if you stick with it, to learn basic coding. All right. Um, is that it? I don't see any more objectives. These are red, but they're supposed to be red, right? Yes. Red because it's supposed to be red. We fixed that one too. 
don't think we've been down this far yet. No, we obviously missed something because that would have opened up, I guess. Does this thing go all the way around? No. Hmm. We're dead. 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 You back off! You giant monster! Yeah, I don't see any boogers. You make a ball stack simulator? Why do you need a simulator when you got the right thing right here? I'm sure you've talked about it, but are you enjoying the Fallout TV show? all you needed <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna die tastes like strawberries on a sunday evening and her hips taste like some badge i would just write the song about what it's about i wouldn't make it like a Synonym or something, or whatever that word is. Pump the lever, loser! Pump the lever, loser! Metaphor? Bless you, I know it's allergy season. Okay, I didn't fix whatever our problem is. It's coming, it's coming. It's over pumped, I think you're right. We want to bump you up! <laughs> I raised the roof on live television. Raise the roof! Is he coming? All right, we're making moves. I once made a character named Cinnamon in a D&D &D campaign, and she was a stripper who moonlighted as a rogue. Her sister was Champagne, and she poured bottles of champagne on herself. She was a bard.
Have you checked Steam? They have a huge selection of games. Did I grab a toolbox? Yeah. Oh! Did I make it? I think he got me! If he got me, I quit. I ain't playing all this again. <laughs> Why is he being so aggressive? What a nerd fantasy to play Dungeons and Dragons and make a character whose name is Champagne and her special personality attribute is she pours shit. <laughs> All right, and uh, roll for skills. Oh, I don't need to. You don't want to have any skills like acrobatics or sleight of hand no i've already got my skills i pour champagne on myself <laughs> it worked you had to ad lib on the fly quick we need a character what's your character's name champagne What's her special attributes? She pours champagne on herself. What about you? My name's Joe Dirt. What's your special power? Life's a garden. Dig it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's, uh, it has to be. I've probably gotten to where it's time to get aggressive because I'm winning. I'm bending, I'm bending. I'm bending, I'm bending. Maybe he's just floating around up there. He's not actually attacking. I think he is just floating around up there. He's not attacking as much as I thought he was. Watch him come down here and wear me out. Here he comes! Woo! Jerk. That's actually pretty scary. I'm still working. I don't care if I'm losing blood or not. I'm still working. Is it getting you? Yeah, it's, it's hitting me.
Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Did he get back up there? Yeah, he's back up there. That's terrifying? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. I think we're good. ass please here man release the toolbox you loser we're out of here Ooh. Can we eat the monster? No. Can't eat the monster. Oh, baby! Thanks for playing. We beat the demo. And all this available for this game so far is a demo. But man, that was really, 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 really good. I really, I really like that game. That game was called Sector A7. It's in demo mode, but the guy's got the full game coming out here pretty soon. If you want to support him or pick up his game and play it for yourself, that's it's very. You know how Power Wash Simulator is very soothing and relaxing and not methodical. There's a word for it. What's the word for it? Meditative. Meditative. Ten dollars from Zatch VA. Tribute. You want sushi? Well, by all means, gambler, put on backpack, get down there, and get to slapping and chapping. Man, thank you so much to Zachary B. Thank you for that tribute to Justice and that tribute to the League of Blades. Thank you for the ten dollar super chat. Thank you so much. I can't remember if we played this one or not. I know that I had it downloaded and it was on my home screen, but I deleted it and it's back. And this game is called Loathful. Loathful. And I don't know what this game's, uh, the full game is out now. I don't know how long the demo is. There it is up here in the top right. But I heard this game's pretty nasty and pretty scary. And pretty awesome. Before we go any farther, folks, don't forget to make your own tribute to the Blade Bonfire to shine bright so other heroes can find their way to tonight's adventure. If you've not left a like yet on the show, don't forget to do so. Let me thank my heroes before we go any farther. Zachary B., Jared at Magic Man, Melton Millennial, Mama Justice gifting some subs. Melton times two tonight. Is this like Diet Scorn? That was a good game. Scorn had stuff dripping out of the end of its phalanges. Let's do it. Dripping phalanges.
I'm either really tall. Am I in a coffin? I came out of a coffin. Your Nosferatu? Nosferatu! Stop flicking them switches. You know what's sad about old music? Some company somewhere has bought the rights to, the, to every single song ever so that every single time somebody plays music on YouTube, they can get monetized for it. And it could be something as simple as a penny. Play a penny for a song and then if they pick up that song on any YouTube video, they get a cut of your ad share. Fucking vultures. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. How? They have music. Copyright locators. Copyright. Copyright bots. DMCA bots. They got code programmed into them to where they just constantly search for stuff. Do I have a flashlight? I thought that was a dude in a tie. Is I don't that know how you like it. How do vampires shave? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Is that how they shave? Blah, 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 blah. It is so freaking dark. Key for torch. I don't have anything. Good thing these dimly lit candles are in this alleyway to show me the way. Blah, 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 blah. Hair continues to grow until your body runs out of Claritin. But I don't have allergies. You know how I don't have allergies? Hi, I'm Scotty Blades, and you should eat some of my Blade honey. Blade honey. Honey made from local bees so that your allergies will be gone and you won't have to sneeze. Blade bees sneeze. How many allergies? Get some today. All natural. Comes from the ground. Or in the ocean or wherever bees are from. I hate bees. Why didn't y'all tell me the game was so low? I had the audio in the last game. Allergies. Aller. What we got here? A uh, hook for a crook. What do we got here? A uh, mana queen. Some Papa John's chili oil. <laughs> People call me a clown for talking to my chat, but if you go on TikTok and do dumbass voices and dumbass faces and spit pepper drool over your face, a million followers. Parker Carroll celebrates 12 months of membership, not the bees. Don't get too excited about that, Biden. Not the bees. Welcome back, Parker Carroll. 12 months a Blade Master returning from the field of battle to join us once again in the Hall of Heroes. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you for 12 months.
guess we'll go through this oddly shaped door in the wall. Can I please get this flashlight? Hey, big money. Hey, Shane. Well, we got a flashlight. I still can't see, but I can see on y'all's monitor, not mine. Okay, got a map. Don't know how to check it. The number one, two, QX, PW. I've got a map. How do I pull the map out? Pushing every single button in the world. No map for me. Sure is a lot of hooks laying around. That's one of my favorite monsters to use whenever I do a Dungeons and Dragons adventure. I love using the chain demons. Chain devil, not demon. Oh, he reeled his chain in. Yeah, I tried, Tab. It's a delicious soda, but it didn't do me any good. Boogala boogala. Hey, you never guess what we're missing. It wouldn't be a horror game unless we're missing some foozies. Yoink. Boozy.
don't think that was behind me when I got out earlier. This definitely was not here when I got out earlier. He is now going to inspect your junk in the trunk. Is my send an alert when that happened on that person's stream? <laughs> hey, look, that guy's doing a Pompeii thing. It's a Pompeii thing. It's a Pompeii thing. It's a pump, 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 a thing! I cut the power on, I still can't see on my monitor. I'm having to y'all, have, having to y'all's, y'all's monitor. Let me in! Let me in! That ass for daddy. Work that ass for daddy. Put some. Okay. Been that thing. Uh, on the way, mate. Uh, on you know, the way, you mate. Naked? On the way, you make it. <laughs> yeah, you like to see homos naked? That's cool, man. Whatever. No, no. no. <laughs> Home away, no, no. Next to see homos, gay, whatever. <laughs> Homo way to naked. That's cool, man. Homo way to naked. <laughs> That's cool, man. <laughs> Where in the world did I need a lever at? What the heck? Where am I? Hold shift to sprint. Pop it! Pop the pain! Pop that fucking pain! See? He acts like a doofus. Everybody loves him. I talk to my chat. Somebody comes in and says, what a clown show. Make your mind up, internet. What do you want? Have you tried T for torch? I did try T for torch, yeah. F for flashlight, V for lighter, which is pretty common in PC games for some reason. I want your grandma. I want your grandma. Bring your dry coochie here. I want your grandma. Give me grandma. I want your grandma. Would you Q for a flashlight? I did. <laughs> Bring up your grandma. Where did I need? Uh, valve. Valve. Where did I need a valve? That's right, Pat. I'd like to solve the puzzle. 
I'm going to buy a vial. I'll take a cue and the Batman signal. Now, those are, in fact, not valid, Mr. Barnaby. Shut! Barnaby Blades is my dad's name. You can call me <laughs> Clown Show Mahula Hand. Where do I put this vial? I'll take a verb. <laughs> I'd like to solve the puzzle, Pat. Wash your sister sauce. What do I win? Where do I put a valve? Am I opening the door wrong? I'd like to buy a number, Pat. 42. That's the number of the real home run king, Hank Aaron. Not buried B vitamins bonds. He didn't take no B12 vitamins. No, sir. He took steroids in the ass like a cheater. He didn't get up there at that plate and swing that cudgel and hit that spear. No, sir. He cheated. And there should be an asterisk beside of his name in the record book. The only home run king I recognize is the king, Aaron. Hank the King Aaron. Hey, Luna. I'm going to be pissed off if you guys knew where this valve was supposed to go the entire time and nobody said anything. The home run king, Elvis Presley. Did you know that who was once voted the work? He was once voted the world's sexiest man. Do you want to know how he died? Like a king. Sitting on the throne, eating a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Could you not wait to have your number two? You're still number one in my heart, King. But you couldn't finish your business and then eat your sandwich? You had to eat it while you was taking a, a pooper? Wouldn't that just make your sandwich taste like curds? What's wrong with you? Why are you like that? That ain't right. That ain't normal. There's something wrong with you. Eating banana and peanut butter sandwiches on the toilet. Where's your manners? I have no idea if I have missed a key. I don't know if I have missed. So number 42 was Jackie Robinson. <laughs> well, that kind of just ruins my last 10 minute rant that I went on. It was, yeah. Well, then what was Hank Aaron's number? It was 40 something. Forty-four. It was forty something. It was forty-four. Hank Garen, the home run king. Forty-one. Pretty close. Peppercorners unite. I've not seen peppercorn tonight. 
I did tell the mod chat that I was streaming tonight, so she can't say it's because I thought she took Thursdays off. She can't say that, Jen. She can't say that. Where in the hell do I take... I have been everywhere. There's nowhere left to go with this valve. I am confused. Uh, he died doing what he loved, pooping. Pooping is about the only time during the daytime that I get any enjoyment of absolutely being alone. But then it never fails when I take a poop. Somebody yells, are you pooping? Or they start saying, Scotty, come here while I'm on the toilet. If, you utter, if you're if you in a part of the house and you realize that I'm not in that part of the house, I'm probably somewhere else doing something. So instead of screaming, Scotty, text me and see what I'm up to. Because if you scream, I'm going to cut that lope. I'm going to come running. What's going on in here? Nothing. Just poop? I can't. I don't think you guys understand how burned into my DNA it is that when somebody yells my name, I come running to save the day. It's in my DNA. You yell, I come running. You Googled it, it's 44? I... Thanks, Melton. I, I Googled it live on stream, but hey, buddy. I'm glad you took interest in our conversation. What's the bar at the bottom? Stamina. Scotty! I'm coming. I'm in the Blade Mobile now. Room, room. I used to have a green screen. I'm going to uh, I'm going to rearrange my entire office to make it much more cozy than it is now. Do you know that I am so traumatized by you guys? I really enjoyed how my office looked at one time, and then somebody came in and said, "I feel like I just showed up in the waiting room of a dentist's office." I liked how it looked. I like the warm orange glow. It reminded me of a bonfire, but somebody ruined it. I might g make sure to make the new setup level. I mean, I'm not going to do anything but change the colors. Here it is. Remember how we, the office used to, used to look like this? You just unliked. Why would you do that? I just, I just unliked. Engine rooms. Unlike David, what's your problem? That doesn't look like a dentist's office. I thought that looked really good. Damn, I got no beach. I just got sand. Dave Matthews. Look, look at that. Nice hat. Thanks. I quote Dave Matthews every every show. Ooh, traffic jam. I got no beach and I got no sand. I'm glad you took interest in our conversation. <laughs> Witness? I liked how that looked, but somebody said that my studio looked like the waiting room of a dentist office, and I, I changed it because of that one person. But that one person who shall not be named is not the most intelligent person that I've ever met, so I shouldn't have took their opinion too much to heart. Hey, Christopher. You like the green screen days? This is really hard to maintain. Hey, Michelle. I can't... Why? I think the game's bugged. There's nothing for me to stick a valve in. Nothing. 
There is nothing for me to stick a valve in. I'm pretty confident the game's bugged. There's an elevator here? Restart? Maybe. I think this is supposed to be the elevator right here. Mm. Work it, well, let me twerk it. Dabba, 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 dabba. What room is that supposed to be? That's a penis. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Okay, here's the generator. Wait a second. The map's backwards. Here's the ele... I know that was a demo, but that demo sucked. Did we win? I mean, we, we completed a demo, but at what cost? That demo sucked. It just stopped. Nothing scary happened. You just wandered around in a map. That was a terrible demo. It didn't, it didn't showcase the game whatsoever. That pretty much sums it up. Pretty much. That pretty much gives you an idea. Oh, crap. Um, they can't all be winners. They cannot all be winners. I got a cool. I do not have a cleaver. Do I have a cleaver? I do got a cleaver. I got two candles. Good evening, Jim. Um,. I don't remember anything about this game, but I know that we got a lot of stuff the last time that we were here. And... I got a lot of stuff. I don't remember. Time to cleave. This game is so good. It's the best survival horror game on the market right now. The Night Mother remembers. We are her brick and blood in her mortar. One of two human fingers. Nope, none for me. So I know if we go this way, the 
fart monsters this way. $10 from Zatchkio about watching this game ye finger bang, finger bang, finger bang, thumbs up, yeah, yeah. thumbs up, fart, fart, okay, okay. <laughs> finger bang, finger bang, thumbs up, thumbs up, fart, fart, okay, okay. That was pretty funny. Thank you so much, Zach, for that tribute. Thank you, buddy. I can't remember how to access the mini map. Oh, there it is. We gotta go slow, because it's been almost a week since I played this. I can't remember how it goes. I know we came from there. And there was a bunch of enemies down here that we don't want to mess with, so... Okay, we have to go. We either have to go back through that guy's room, or back down. And this place down here is awful. Like, really hard. You smell cinnamon rolls? You know they say if you eat certain foods, it makes your spank monkey smell good? I wonder if there's certain foods you can eat that make your... You gotta imagine if you eat enough nutmeg, your farts are gonna smell like... Cappuccino. The butcher surgeon asked us to turn on the generator. The gas must be shut off in the boiler room. Alright, so we gotta find the boiler room. And I don't think... We have found the boiler room. There's just a body hanging there. I don't think we've found the boiler room yet. So long as you don't leave this room, death will not... Okay. We're going for it. That's not how that works. I mean, I've never said I was the most intelligent man. What is that? Oh, shit. Oh, whoa! Ooh. Brother, Brother ooh. What's that? Brother, ooh. What's that, brother? Brother, ooh. Medicinal. We got a corrupted finger. I don't know what that white circle there is. Hello, Kate. So let's eat this roll. We feel nourished now. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect! GG's. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! It's like I never even took a day off, man. If I remember right, there's a big, giant, scary dude in a blanket here. Oh no, that's the numbers! Remember, there was numbers per room! So that's zero. Ah! So it goes. Oh, that was the boiler room, too. So whatever's in there, we gotta fight it. Ah! Ah! You bitch. Mmm. 
Is there another way? Is there another way that I can purify myself without having to use a candle? I don't think there is. Candle must be used. lighting effect this whole game is gorgeous i got a coin purse i got three fingers to add to the thing let's go do that real quick activate the shrine i thought i had i know i got fingers Oh, I've got corrupted fingers, not human fingers. Okay. Hey, Bradley Legal. You thought Scotty's chant was part of the soundtrack? Papa's got moves. Now, shut up! <laughs> we know we know it's three. We gotta figure out the other room. <laughs> you bitch! You hit me in the back swing. Four. Four three zero. Four three zero. It almost was four twenty. West to east. Finger, uh, scroll and strange crimes. All right, the boiler's on. That means the power is on, so we should be able to see now, and that should make the surgeon happy. <gasps> A knight's helmet, plus three melee attack. This is how much I've explored. Nice. This game is so much fun. Man, this game is fun. Okay. Nice. Yeah, all about that swag. Because we all about that swag, about that swag. No trouble. We all about that swag, about that swag. No trouble. All right, you loser. I got a feeling this is going to be a boss fight, but let's talk it out. All right, see you, buddy. This patient is dying. I need you to run to the laboratory and craft a tonic jar. I thought I had a tonic jar. The butcher in the kitchen wants a tonic jar crafted in the lab, okay? <laughs> Shut up! The lab. If I was a lab, visually it reminds me of Little Nightmares. Somebody earlier watched our old broadcast of this and left a comment on it and said, this is the Clock Tower remake that we all needed. And it actually does remind me of Clock Tower. No trouble. Where's the laboratory? Laboratory, 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 storage, rear house entrance. 
paint and gallery, occult, wretches room, laboratory. We've not found the laboratory yet. Where's the library? Alright, mm -hmm. we've not found it yet. It's all about the hamsters, about the hamsters. No trouble. Well, I'm glad that guy ran because I was scared of him. Boiler room, servants quarters, firework. We used that earlier on a boss. It did almost no damage. You're saying Scotty reads comments on older streams? He didn't leave it in, like, how you guys are commenting right now. He left it post-stream when it turns into a VOD. I don't go back and read stream comments because I, I read them here. I try to read every comment that I see. They left a comment post-VOD. The Night Brother remembers! Give him that heart. Plus one item remembrance slot. Let's manage our remembered items. So we're remembering... So basically when I die, we will get this item back again. So I think we should keep all of our rings and stuff. Plus 20 melee damage is pretty good. I definitely think we should hang on to some rings. So if I die... Plus the helm? Oh, that's a good point. Oh, it won't let me remember the helmet. Ah! Titties and beer, man. I take that back. I'm not going to talk bad about titties and beer. That's a good idea, but it won't let me keep it. But that was a good idea, though. Maybe these plus 15 max health rings. Plus 16 chance of doubling damage dealt. Yeah, let's do the, the health ring one. Wieners and wine. There you go. I like wine, though. Also, I think we should probably not hang on to the healing kit. And we should probably hang on to one of these weapons. That thing does... That does 4 plus 2, 1 plus 2. This one does a shit ton of damage. Let's save that. Also, let's try using that thing. So if I get to bring a finger, I won't. We need to manage this. I don't remember how to do that, though. Oh, a sign shortcut. We also need Roll to make some... that beautiful bean footage. Good morning, dear. Oh, good morning, sweetie birdie. I'm out of coffee. You're out of coffee. Isn't that wonderful? Out of coffee? What a time to run out. And why run out? Now there's a new giant size Instant Maxwell House. A really big jar of coffee. New giant size Instant Maxwell House gives you cups and cups and cups. Dozens of extra cups of the coffee with that warm bean flavor. Warm <laughs> bean flavor because it's made from coffee beans still warm from roasting. That's why that new Instant Maxwell House is the freshest flavor. tasting coffee yet. So to make sure you've always got plenty of coffee for the man in your house, get the new giant... Cups and cups and cups of that worn bean flavor. You know how intimidating it would be if you were a monster in a in a place somewhere and you saw a little girl wearing a trench coat and a knight's helmet walking up with a lead pipe in their hands. That'd be scary. I'd be scared. Show yourself. Ah, Nightingale, I am sorry for our earlier misunderstanding. I am the first witch, and I run the Sororal Order of the Initiated. The filthy wretch and I, though careful and often perilous experiments, have come to understand much more about the dream. I bestow knowledge upon worthy initiates such as yourself. How do we train you? This will sound a bit macabre. The blood and vital organs of the dream's inhabitants hold tremendous power. By offering them into ritual, the entity that controls the dream, the body may be permanently strengthened. 
Additionally, worthy initiates are given special gifts as they ascend in the rank. I am supposed to unfriend fake Jerry. I'm so sick of seeing his name pop up 1,500 times a stream. In fact, you will receive a special gift after your first very offer. Here is a hunting guide and an offering list you can refer to. I look forward to working with you to unlock your full potential. You know I'm not going to read that shit. I could give her five strange coins and a cryptic finger. Why not? Let's see what happens. She's our... She's our... At this whole time, I had... No, mate. I didn't know there was a leveling up. This whole time, I was maidenless. No, mate. No maidens. Skill issue. No wonder I was having a hard time killing these things. I didn't know that you could level these things up. Um... I did read that luck is really good. But for some reason, I can't bring my luck up. I feel like we should... Hello, Natalie. I feel like we should make our health go up first and do bigger. That's so Scotty. I didn't know I didn't need maidens. All right, we'll do our health first. You are now level one. Aha! Aha! Congratulations, your first offer and initiate. You mean corporal. I got promoted. I'm not a private no more. You're a... The reward is a key that unlocks our network of secret passages. You were level zero? Yes. I was level zero. Hey, guys. We just unlocked some... Uh... Oh, you know. Lock some secret tunnel. Secret tunnel, tunnel. The bookshelf in this room connects to another one of the part of the house. Very convenient. Ain't that the truth? Your next reward will be at, at level five. An advanced grimoire that lets you create new spells. Nice. I look forward to our next offer, initiate. Uh here, have some more. <laughs> yeah! How do I get more points in luck? I guess I'm gonna put more points in bigger because I need more health. Level two. Hey there, sexy boy. Ah, oh, I got rid of my corrupted heart to do the thing over there. <laughs> if you find yourself run out of foes to harvest organs from, you need to begin a new night. All of your targets will be revived to be hunted once more. Dying is one way to start a new night, but it comes with obvious downsides. Search for another blue bookshelf and you might find a different way. Blue bookshelf. We gotta hunt and get another heart. Secret bookshelf. So where did this put us at? This is the beginning of the game. This is great. It gave us a new night, you think so? It might have. I'm fully healed unless I fully heal when I leveled up. What's up, Brian? How are you, buddy? Welcome to tonight's adventure. I need to sleep. I wonder if I can. Nah, I can't. That's a good idea, though. I can hide. That was a good idea. That was a really good idea. I wish I could have. We'll figure out a way. We gotta find the laboratory still. We just enjoyed a couple of jumbo margaritas. Delicious. Did you go out and get them or did you go 
stay in and make them. I've been on a whiskey kick. I also need to make some more spells. Mm, bedroom. Bedroom. I think we can make spells in the library. I want to make... We do need to make another candle. And... Let's see. Door hex spell. Armor spell would be good. We'll do all armor spells for now because I don't really care for the dummy spell. It doesn't do a lot of great... The music in this game... The music in this game may be some of the best video game music to rival Elden Ring and Dark Souls and Castlevania. It's really good. I already had a grimoire. Oh, I had a basic grimoire. That's right. How do I sign my spell? There it is. So let's assign that and put that where the sticks are at. There we go. We armored up, baby. Discovered a local Tex Mex place. It's just 10 minutes from my house. Great margaritas. We had a fantastic Tex Mex place close to where I live. And we went in one night, and there was a smell that permeated through the entire place. It was like rotten fish. It, I have never been back. It's a Yeah, this place had a fish smell to it. It it almost made me sick to my stomach waiting to get a table. We got a table. And the time before that we went there, the person behind us got pissed off at the waitress because their fish that they ordered, it was deep fried fish was still pink in the middle. So between that and that weird smell, that awful smell, we just never went back. And that's too bad, man, because I love Mexican food. Holy moly, folks! A legendary heroic deed. There's going to be some emails coming out now because they email you whenever you get a gifted membership. A lot of folks are going to not know that we weren't live tonight. There's a lot of wieners flying around. Brian Lee has knighted 10 new Blade Masters or returning if you happen to be one that's returning. I know early night I said new Blade Masters and somebody said, well, I already was a Blade Master. They just, I didn't renew, so... I'm not technically new, but you got a good point. Brian Lee has brought on Andrea Perez, Paul K, Marcus. Can't pronounce your last name because it's in some kind of old English that I can't read. Matthew Pace, JT196, Night Shroud, Turner, Amanda Bear, Rick27, and... Let me solo her. <laughs> Cheers, my friend, for a legendary deed on tonight. Thank you very much. I wish I had a good Tex-Mex place close to me. There is somebody downstairs that we can kill. Yes, and there's somebody outside that we can kill that's also on fire. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's one of them. That's one of them that we can kill. Also, this game's got a ton of boobies and butts, and that's just... we love. What do we love here, chat? Blades, bacon, battle, beard, biceps, boobies, butts, beer. Did I already say beer? Brewski. Whack you! That armor spell is so clutch! 
That armor spell is so clutch. We've never killed one of those before. We love hot breath. That was a beast zombie. And if you guys remember, there was a monster that we squared off against in Elden Ring called the, ble the, the Beast Clergyman, who was actually death in disguise. How cool is that? David Marigold Marold brings tribute. To the night's adventure. Hey, Amanda, I got my first gift. At Six dollars from David Marigold Marold. That's awesome, Amanda. Sleep in the coffin, start a new night. Sleep in the coffin. Don't forget boomsticks. It's true, we do love boomsticks around here. We do love boomsticks. I got a video for you, Marcus. Applesauce. <laughs> Sling and slasher. Now the the guy that was the beast clergyman in Elden Ring was actually dead. We beat the hell out of that guy. I love Scotty. Thank you so much. What's happening next Wednesday? I don't know. Never forget Treebeard. What's happening next Wednesday? We guess what we did. You live an exciting life, Brian. I'm proud of you. Thank you, David, for the six. Thank you once again, Brian. That incredibly generous and legendary deed. The gifted membership. A wine pairing. We gotta find the laboratory. I forgot. The last few weeks have been utter hell. I have not had the best 2024. It's been better than I expected, but I still feel like everything's just been weird since 2020. The other day I was sitting having a conversation with a buddy of mine and we were talking about that, about how to go this hard. Your car battery died. Uh, David, you remember on Christmas Day, my truck battery died and I couldn't go to Christmas at my, uh, my parents' house. Got to pull out them moves from the 1600s. Boil Saturday. Oh boy. And UFC 300? Who's headlining that fight? And also, when is. When is. Uh, what did he need again? I already, I already got his thing because I got his lantern. When is Mike Tyson and uh, Jack off on a fight? I really hope he. I don't hope he dies, but I, I hope Mike Tyson knocks his fucking brains out. Anyway, too bad I don't get the chance to do it. Here's a secret passage. Did I find the co coffin chamber? She said. Okay, we found the coffin chamber. Very cool. It's in July. I think we should host a night where we watch it. What's up, Tally? I think there should, we should uh, host, not the UFC fight. I can't remember who you said the UFC fight's going to be, but we should absolutely host the Mike Tyson fight in the League of Blades. Because I'm pretty sure we're all rooting for Mike Tyson. 
You said Coughlin. You did. Who is that guy? Is my man wearing a pop hat? I can't remember how to make a jar. Is this... Same? The Night Mother remembers with her bricks and blood. Her No, I don't want to use a corrupted liver just yet. So this is where we sleep to start over another night, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. Let's talk to this guy here at the top hat. Mr. Coffins. <laughs> what a bomb-ass name. This dude, this dude's dripping with swag. <laughs> Mr. Coffins. You're, uh, you're awesome, Mr. Coffins. This is the filthy wretch from upstairs. Ah, Nightingale, excellent timing. This is my associate, Mr. This is my associate, Mr. Coffins. I would tip my top hat to you, good sir, but I seem I don't have one. Hey, Jen Two Boobs, we were just bragging about how hot and awesome and funny you are. Anyway, back to the show. His name is improbably perfect, and I have enlisted him to help us with this coffin here. Yeah, imagine. A guy with the name Scotty Blades, but I use toothpicks, you know? Mr. Coffins, he's perfect for coffins. Tired of losing all your valuable possessions each night? Yes. By having Mr. Coffins lock you in here at night, you'll awake with all your things intact. There's a small price for this service, a few coins. Of course, of course. What do you say, Mr. Coffin? Oh, fine. And a snack for Mr. Coffins. A corrupted finger or two will do nicely. The price will go up each night until you die. The price will go up each night until... Oh! So if I die, it wipes the slate of everything and the price goes back down to normal. I got it. Dear Mr. Coffins is not a machine and must be compensated for not getting any rest. That's true. Keep her safe in there, Mr. Coffins. Absolutely no eating the customer, Mr. Coffins. I got a feeling that Mr. Coffins is going to be a new League of Blades mascot. See you later, Rich. Mr. Coffins. Five strange coins and a corrupted finger to start a new night. No, we're still... We still got a few folks that we can hunt. And we, we need a corrupted liver to do that. So this isn't the laboratory. We searched all that. Mr. Coffins builds them, kills them, and buries them. One of my best friends is a mortician. So literally does mortuaries and systems. Could you guys do that? I never minded being around dead bodies. I don't like it, but I've been around dead bodies my entire life. But I don't like it. Could you be a mortician's assistant? Could you be a mortician? That's a crazy job. It's you got to be a special breed, and she is. She's an. She's just. She's an incredible person. It's you got to be a special breed. You can do it. I don't remember how to fix that. How do I fix the curse rod? I don't remember. Curse rod, curse rod. Coffee? Still drinkable despite some odd flakes and a clump on the surface. Coffee? Heals poison. I don't have poison. I have curse. Gradually heals curse. Okay. I'm going to eat this sandwich real quick. And then... Oh, 
<laughs> hey, we got a lever. I needed one of those. Thank you. That is a giant maid, but her friends call her Tara. Corrupted liver. Don't worry, buddy. You're doing fine. I hear her whisper and stomping about at all hours. All right, so if we kill Tara, then we get corrupted liver. Oh my God, I tease your friend. Is this Mortuary's assistant? She's actually, she's been in here, heard you guys making that joke, and then her favorite stream I've ever done is the Mortuary's assistant. She loves that game. I love that game. I think the developer has moved on and is not going to be making any more content for that, so that's unfortunate. This is the laboratory. We found it. That's a man with a head injury. Ah, you must be Nightingale. I've heard wonderful things about you from my daughter, Margaret. Hey, my best friend's name is Maggie. Margaret. I am Dr. Robert Blackhead. And my sister's name is Stacy Whitehead. And we're the Acne Twins. <laughs> I do apologize for not coming to visit you sooner. Oh, I see you're staring at my head wound. Yeah, it's pretty prodigious. Nothing to worry about. Cut my head on a low doorway. We old men bleed so easily. I'm afraid you caught me at a bad time, and I must be heading upstairs. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to get acquainted here in the dream. For now, feel free to use my laboratory. You seem like a clever girl, so I'll let you borrow my basic lab manual, you basic bitch. What are you, a White Claw Ranger? What's the name of our group, Tick? The White Claw Clan? White Claw Clan. Scotty throws all of his best friends under the bus with a drop of a hat. Hey, Mikey, what did I say bad about my best friend? I thought Ted was your best friend. Ted's my best online friend. Maggie's my best flesh and blood friend. Should we touch his head room? Sure. I tried to whack him, but it wouldn't let me. He walks like Frankenstein. He's a big guy, too. Okay, we gotta make a tonic jar, right? I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. Yeah. I'm getting the feeling of coming yeah. backstage when I pump up, when I yeah. pose out in front of 5,000 people. Yeah. Did you guys see Sylvester Stallone's in some hot water right now? Because he said somebody on the set of his TV show was fat and weak. So instead of fixing them their, themselves being fat and weak, they decided to go on the internet and complain about it, and now everybody's mad at Sylvester Stallone. I can't think of anybody or anything that would motivate me more than if Rocky, Rocky or Rambo walked up to me and said, you're fat and weak. Guess whose ass is going to be in the gym that night because Rocky said that I was pudgy and we I'm going to punch me I'm going to run up the steps of, of the Philly <laughs> nothing would motivate me more how do I look now Rocky Body shaming is wrong. Yeah, but it's Rocky. If, the, if Rocky walked up to me and said that you're fat, I would go get to the gym. You bring up the perfect example of being well-motivated. I, I get why somebody would be upset about it. If Rocky told me I was fat, I would, I would get my butt in the gym. But I respect Rocky. I guess if you don't respect Rocky and he said you were fat, he'd probably piss you off. <laughs> You a-hole! Curiously, there's no handle. Okay, I'll find one. Oh, God! Oh, that's a bad room to go. Woo! You bitch! Hang on, I gotta cast a protection spell. Get protected!
Fat Shaman is good as long as Sylvester Stallone does it. I just, if Arnold, who spent his entire life being a physical Adonis, walks up to me and says, what's wrong with you, Scotty? You, you got the, the love handles, your muscles are dripping. You've got the little little muffins where your belly button should be. I, we're going to we're going to get you in the gym. We're going to bump you up. That would motivate me. If Machine Gun Kelly said that I was fat, I'd probably kick him in the nuts. So it's all about perspective. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to die of rot again. So we're just gonna beat this guy. Yeah! A thoroughly modern photographic plate. If Jonah Hill would, I'd knock Jonah Hill's dumb furry head off. <laughs> I've been called all sorts of things my entire life. I just got thicker skin than I guess most folks do. Or not say most. I got thicker skin than some folks do. I would... It's just... It's all about perspective. It's never a good idea to make any... It's never a good idea to make any judgments of anything physical in today's age at all. Just leave everybody alone. But if the Rock, if Rocky told me that, I'd be like, I gotta... Or Arnold told me that, I'd be like, I gotta get the gym. A very modern photographic plate with a camera can be used to create curiously vibrant photographs. I got bigger arms than Arnold Schwarzenegger, thank you very much. Even at Arnold's peak, my arms were bigger than his. So I'm going to call him out on his arm. Your arms are weak. You're a puny man. Here you go. Flex or it didn't happen. Good enough. You may just be of some use to me, boy. You gotta have thick skin if you make fun of Blaze because he fires back every time. Boy, I didn't used to, but now I'm just like, hey, if you make fun of me, I get to make fun of you, right? Talk. What do you want, boy? The Butcher. I do have a name, of course, but I'd rather not sully my reputation in the real world. Finding work has been difficult for an old-fashioned craftsman like myself. So I've had to do things I'm not proud of. That bloody fool, Joseph Lister, has turned the art of surgery into a complete farce. Dr. Blackett offered me top pay for a simple job. Each night I was to deliver him fresh corpses and dissect them. He claimed he was starting a medical school, and that there was no students. The bodies were to be anatomatized in front of a curious window. The observer cloaked in shadow. Ooh. A few nights later, when I awoke in the dream, the truth was made clear. I have been hired to introduce the dream to the mechanical operation of the human body. And now I stay on, assisting Dr. Blackett. Yes, but performing my own investigations as well. Very good. The dream affords me the rare opportunity to dream or study the human body. Each night the dead are reanimated anew, so one can truly practice in a way impossible in the real world. Ooh, but also, that's a good point. When I first arrived in the dream, I performed many an experiment on willing subjects. Well, mostly willing, I think. Progress requires sacrifice, no? For instance, I spent a few weeks slicing one gentleman's Achilles tendon in different ways each night. Let me just read that again to really drive home what this man just said. I spent a few weeks slicing one gentleman's Achilles tendon in different ways each night.
As you can imagine, he grew stark raven mad. But by the end, I was able to constantly repair that hobbled foot. Don't even get me started on what I've learned about the brain. Cool. I believe I'm still alive in the real world and that in a few more nights I'll awake as usual. Initially, I had only the faintest memories of waking, but over time I learned to retain more. And soon as I... So we're like in the Matrix right now. I get it. As soon as I wake, I pick up a scalpel and retrace what I practiced in the dream. Additionally, I believe there's a way to escape the dream at will. But I certainly won't tell you about it, my little secret. Bitch. Also... If I ever hear of you sneaking around Moss and Mazalim, I will cut your eyes out. Oh. Well, guess where I'm going? I see. You're not the new boy. Oh, God! Boss fight. You're a puppet. You're a puppet. I'm going to snip your strings. I'm going to... kill you. Here she is. Can't roll around anymore. <laughs> we exchange blows. Uh, let's see here. Let's heal. What did he do? Oh, the spell gave me curse right. Yeah. <laughs> Light the candle. We're so hurt. here, baby. Come on! You're messing with the Butcher Blade, the killer of 60 plus bosses in one Elden Ring stream. I beat Cuphead on the hardest difficulty. Got a whole trophy room full of boss heads. I'm the Butcher, baby. Woo! I did it. I didn't read that last thing. A tear-shaped drop of blessed blood. Shed only by those who once made an offering at the Remembrance Shrine. Can be dropped into a Remembrance Shrine to remember things. The Butcher Surgeon. He gave me a corrupted heart. Gene, if you ain't first, you're last. You tell him. You tell him. Happy Thursday, Krim. Is that my gorgeous, beautiful Jim Booberry booby bits? <laughs> she gave you more pet names than she gave me. Also, we killed the butcher. First boss defeated. I didn't see what our mission was. Quest. Find a use for the right idle eye. Perhaps Margaret knows something. Who? Which one was Margaret? Ring the bell. Looks like killing bosses is a dish best served. Dead. I bet it's an eye. I bet you're probably right. I could have touched that and not died. I didn't realize that.
She's in the study. Man, Zach's really into this game. He knows where everybody's at. Hurry up, that ass jerky ain't gonna cut itself. That was actually pretty funny. And then he walks around for like half the episode with the ass. Do we beat this guy? Probably not. Hide under the furniture? I think there's probably a faster, easier way to do this. What does that hold? We need to go make some more healing stuff. You need the shield? Oh yeah, I did have a shield. I lost it when I died last time, but I do got this badass pipe. I've been laying pipe all night. All day and all night, sweet Susie. This guy had a shield. Um, We need to find some places to do some magic and some I think we can do some stuff in the wine cellar. She's in the library with the candlestick. Are you Margaret? Oh, this is the chick that levels me up. Let's level up, baby. I know I put a lot of points into Vigor, but let's put some points into Warding. Because I do get cursed a lot. Level three. The music, the level up music reminds me a lot of Zelda. Let's level up again. Why not? Carl, I'm gonna unfriend you. Stop restarting and starting games over and over. Who the hell does that? Anybody interested in a modded Fallout run? Not New Vegas, Fallout 4. I'm kinda in a Fallout mood. Not tonight, but I'll work on it tomorrow. Zelda Scroll. Put some more points in boarding. Hey, Tara. Level five. I spent all of my coin, but it was worth it. Well done, initiate. You've proven yourself a worthy of possessing the advanced grimoire. As long as the mods include giving everybody bigger boobs, bigger boobs, for sure, for sure. The only thing we can agree on in the world is pizza and boobs. Use this as an occult wax table to bring your maxes to the next color spell. Okay. Your next reward will be at level 10, the Initiate's Outfit. He can play Elden Ring again? Yes, the mods have officially given me permission to play Elden Ring. They said they wouldn't quit. And they talk a big game, but they all remember the awesomeness that was our Elden Ring. They all remember Chip. They all remember Keanu Bleed. They talk a big game, but they remember they were there for the nine million rune man run. I need to make some healing potions. I thought I made some last time. I don't have any bushes. I did make a bunch. 25 poison buildup. I need to make tonic. I don't have any bushes. Oh well. Let's go make some spells. As long as Kern says it okay. Cheetah box. We need another Elden Ring run? We do. I agree. We need one more run before. I forgot about these guys. We got one more run before the new DLC comes out. Odd music? I love this music. It's very gothic and dark and cool. I don't have the rusty key. I forgot about you, buddy. 
I forgot about you. I'll, I'll get you out of there if you look. It also reminds me of Silent Hill. Mr. Coffins, how are you doing? Here you go, here's a lever. There's that Zelda music. Offer remembrance here? Yeah, why not? I'm going to remember everything. Okay, let's remember... We got... We're remembering the pipe and the two rings that give us health. Paralysis jar. I don't know what else we would try to remember. I don't know. That was kind of a waste of time. I don't know what else we would remember. Maybe some more of these rings. Projectile damage. Less fire damage. 6% uh, chance of doubling damage dealt. Doesn't sound very good. I, yeah, I guess we'll just do the rings. I don't know what else to do. I don't even wear happy rings, I don't think. Health, max health, less fire, less poison build up, plus 20 melee damage. Yeah, this is fine. What's up, Turner? Alright, let's see what kind of new spells we got. We got. We need to make some more armor spells. We got an enchant spell. Up to three suits of armor or dolls can be enchanted to do battle for the caster. The armor will follow the caster from room to room until it dies in combat. Cool! Um, harvest field spell. Creates a local field of vampiric energy, damaging foes and using their vital energies to heal the caster. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. And then this one is a curse ball spell. Fire is a slow-moving ball of cursed energy. All right. How many candles do we have left? None. We need candles. We need everything, man. We're hurt. We'll do one more armor. And we'll do one... We'll do a vampire spell, so that in case we get low on energy, we can heal up. Do I not have the pipe on here? No, I don't. So, let's see here. I need to put some healing on here somewhere, too. Let's get it healed. Ooh. Ooh. All right, good night, Maxim. Not now, Mr. Coffins. I'm busy. How am I doing on spells? Got it. I know I gotta go find Maggie now. I don't think this is the way. Maggie? Are you in the painting gallery, Maggie? I think she's in the study. Is your character named Straight Thuggin? Do you want it to be? I can't remember this guy's thing. Good evening. 
Oh, he's the... Grandfather clock key. I'm good. Hey, down in front. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, Maggie, tell me your secret. You've met the first witch? I have. Be cautious around her. She's highly secretive and exerts a high degree of control over her initiative. Also, you killed the butcher. I did. I'm the real butcher. That's tremendous news. I'm not one to celebrate the death of a fellow human being, but the butcher wasn't quite human, was he? You should proceed at once to the moist mausoleum with that object you found. It must be of some sort of key object that I found. Oh yeah, the eye. The mausoleum can be found deep in the hedge maze. Some of the past of the maze may be invisible to the naked eye. You'll need to be sufficiently cursed to see all the illusions. Oh, crap. My father is Dr. Robert Black, the, the other doctor that we met downstairs with the head injury. Have you heard of the composer John Sebastian Bach? He's my father's favorite. Bach was given a near impossible task by King Frederick of Prussia to buy the company to be constantly fed the blah 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 Alright, you like piano, good for you. My father always loved that I like piano. He never realized the hero is King Frederick, not Bach. Alright. Your mom. Never knew my mom. I was born in China. My father says I was died in childbirth. My mama loved me. Future. My father wished to pursue a full-time study of a dream. I always wished to demonstrate the asylum. Wished to dream the dream. Did you kind of dream the dream, dream? Okay. Find a way through the hedge maze. This maze. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This mage sucks. But you know what sucks worse? Leaving the farting guy alive. So, I think it's time that we go fight the farting guy. Even though I think we're going to die, we're going to fight the farting guy. Here we go. Whoops. Boss fight!
lost all that shit because all that shit because I got cursed and couldn't take time to heal the curse because I was getting my ass kicked. That's infuriating. Did I lose all my money? Yes, I lost all my money. Also, the whole map reset, too. Lost it all, man. That almost makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> Lost so much progress because of that. Who is this now? <laughs> Think she was trying to win an Oscar there? Hey, Maggie. Remember me? I guess the good news is we get to fight all this stuff again. I don't know what these cursed wigs are for. I never used them. I know that they do like a weird misdirection thing. Nothing but creepy dolls. I need whack. Also, I didn't lose my armor, which is awesome. I thought when I died, I'd lose my clothes and my armor, but I didn't. That demon's lame. That's what I think about your opinion, Turner. Demon lives matter. <laughs> Somehow I missed this guy. All demon lives matter. Stop giving me twigs! I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use them. All the game's giving me is twigs. I'm gonna use it. Snap it, become a spirit for five seconds. Spirits cannot be seen or completely invulnerable. That's fine. Put it on the wheel. Put it on the wheel. The game keeps giving it to me. Put it on the wheel. There. Twig me up. What else? There. Great. Twigs and Russian dolls. That's what I asked for. That's what I needed. How'd I miss a couple of rooms? Oh my god! Fuck you! Alright, we finally got some wax. I can finally make some spells. More wax. This room's full of wax. Oh my god, so much wax! I'm dripping in wax! That's kind of hot. That guy. Mm, there's one more door back that I gotta take a look at. Order twigs. They make me invulnerable for a minute. Watch this. Ah. It also gave me more damage. My sanity or whatever, so. It's not even worth dodging. Just take the hits in the face, man, because if you dodge, you're going to get cursed. If you cast a spell, you're going to get cursed. It ain't worth it. Just get cursed, bro. Curse me, son. How about a stump? No, at least it wouldn't curse me. Everything in this damn game curses me. This 
is the greatest statue ever. And I want it in my bedroom. Darn it, the music. Nice. 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 Not now, you ruined it. Too late. Nope. Too late. Curse your curses. It wouldn't be a big deal if it wouldn't keep killing me. <laughs> you know how all ancient art and statues were supposed to capture the beauty of the human body? This guy's been hanging out Sylvester Stallone too long. Am I sexy now, Sylvester? Hey, my name is Bob, and I'm going to show you what it's like to be a noob. What are you talking about? I'm great at this game. There's no reason to save your money, because when you die, you lose all of your money. So spend it while you got it. Plus 25 max curse tolerance. I want it. Candlestick that appears perfectly normal, however, it's been enchanted to create a small flame. 15% curse damage to caster. Everything curses me. Curses! I bought it anyway. We need some candle wax. Yeah, there's zero reason to hang on. I said that was a weapon. Oh, it is a weapon. So this dumb thing gives me curse damage every time I use it. That's dumb. There's got to be a faster way to heal yourself than curse. If you also like dripping like the stream... Want a Sprite Cranberry? Yes, that would be very refreshing right now. I make wonderful dishes. I try to make everything delicious. That guy's got a gun. How about your pipe versus... Still now. Ow! Shit! <laughs> that really... That really hurt. Ow, oh, bitch! <laughs> Still now. Hang on, I got a hill. Who the hell is there a ghost in here? Perfect aim. <laughs> oh, Alfred, I'm sorry. You're all. It's okay. I forgive you. The groundskeeper, Daffodil. He gives you a corrupted finger. Okay. Cool. Stop! How do I hurt this loser? I probably gotta shoot him with spells, I bet. Let's try it. Here, have a doll. That should distract him so I can use my spell. All it did was curse me. Stupid ass ghost. Sorry about that, Alfred. How do I kill ghosts? Goodbye. Welcome back. I had a photograph earlier until I got killed. Somebody call Nickelback. Gaze upon yourself.
Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I want to remember. I have a shield now. I want to remember this ring that gives me curse tolerance. Am I wearing it? Make me more tolerant. I want to be tolerant. What's up, dude? A new arrival. It's been a while. Have you used the twig much? It makes you invisible for five seconds, and it does a crap ton of curse damage to myself. I would introduce myself, but I have forgotten who I was. Lord Nobody of Nowhere. That's right, folks. The Night Blades have made it to the midnight hour. The moon is out, which means the goons are out. The blades hunt. Raise your green lanterns to the Midnight Lesbian Society, a.k.a. the Graveyard Crew, a.k.a. Daddy's Little Helpers. Lord Nobody of Nowhere. What a name. I quite like that title. I'm afraid I, I'm afraid to find out who I was before. Perhaps I wasn't a good person. I still faintly remember things, smell, taste, and an uncanny sense of having seen something before. That's why I enjoy photographs. They bring back so many feelings. You ever use a camera? It's quite simple, really. If you'd like, I have a beautiful antique camera for sale. I'd give it to you for free, but I need coins. Yeah, you see, I cannot leave this place, so I purchased photos for Bud and photography. He was originally lured somebody from somewhere. Try fire or holy water? I tried fire. It didn't work. How do you kill the ghost? Oh, with the camera. I'm a tribute. Ain't that a sex toy? Hey, good for you, buddy. I'll buy it. I am now poor, but I need to come back here and get all of this cool stuff. The Bible gives me plus 50 luck. My photo collection is really lacking of these supernatural variety. Sell me a photo of a spirit and I'll throw in a special extra gift. The normal can be seen when you're, when you're cursed. But you can take a picture of them anytime. Okay. Oh, now you look familiar. No, I suppose not. Haven't had a visitor in a while, but I guess I'm overexcited. My name is Rose. Don't remember much else but my first name, so that's what we'll have to do. Don't take this the wrong way. But you seem like the type of girl who carries around a lot of junk you don't need. Am I right? I love junk. It's the only thing keeping me sane. Somewhat sane. Better than Mr. Photographs over there. I got a heaping mound of coins. If you have any extra items, I'll be happy to take them off your hands. Hell yeah! You have all these stupid dolls I ain't going to use, and these dumbass twigs I ain't going to use. That gave me 21 coins. Pick the perfect look for a giant pile of outfits and rings takes time. To instantly recall your best ensemble, you should write it down in the fashion record. Oh, okay. I used to have more records, but I've given them all out. Maybe you will find them. Multiple records means multiple looks at your fingertips. Fashionable young women will need us to help when we can. Thank you for keeping me fashionable. So this gives me 25% less bleeding buildup. What do I got now? This keeps me... Less curse rot, less curse. Okay, this is curse. That gives me plus three, minus two speed. Ah, we're pretty poor right now. We better just go back out in the world and murder some people. What happens when curse reaches the max? When the curse gets high, which it is right now. 
so when the curse gets high, it my health bar starts depleting rapidly until I remove the curse with a candle. If I can't remove the curse before my health bar drops, then I just flat die. That's what killed me last time. Um... I guess wine cellar. I need more human fingers. There's no reason to hang on to coins. Hanging on to coins, when I die, I lose them all. So you just spend them while you got them. I love the music in this game. The music's the best part about it. God, this game is great. Such a great game. And it's cheap. It's on sale right now for $24, I think. Smoke if you got him. Yeah, don't hang on to him. Is that a ghost? Oh! That was a ghost. I don't know how to kill a ghost, ghost yet. Another one. How's it, how's it going? DJ Khaled with your another one. Picture time? Oh yeah, you're right. Let's see if I can get it. This is gonna get me killed. This is gonna be this is gonna get me killed. I wasn't a ghost. Well, you're the guy that told me to take a picture of it, Zach. I think we should go take a picture of the piano ghost to be safe. sure oh I'm seeing things another one you Ricky one aren't you uh oh <laughs> Your dumb spells are no match for my lead pipe. Thank you. I love that music. Uh, let's remember... I could use the shield. I don't know why I'm not using the shield. Let's go kill the farting monster since we're so early in this match. Wish I had a protection spell. Back on it.
I have no idea what she wants. Okay. Run! <laughs> That dude has stomped me two times in a row. I don't know why she kept messing with the curtains. She would not, she would not stop messing with the curtains. That dude, we are over two against that guy, man. He's kicking my ass. Is that the first witch? Yeah. She's kicked in my ass. Ah, so we lost all those items, but we actually remembered a lot of them. Classy music, I love it, man. I, I adore this game's music. Also, I don't know how good. That doesn't do shit! Oh my god! What is this thing? Things are looking bad for Papa. Maybe we don't do the shield. That hurts me just as much as it wouldn't. Thank you. I got a chunk of corrupted meat. Did you get that out of your system? trying to kill me. It's all out now? Okay, good. I'm glad. I don't know why this run has been so stressful, but this run has been stressful. We need to get to nowhere. So 
so I can spend some money on some new clothes. Oh yeah, there's nowhere. I didn't get a photo for you, champ, but I do want to buy some new clothes. Okay. That gives me plus five health, tolerance, poison. That's way better than what I'm wearing now. That was so much better than what I'm wearing. What I'm wearing now just gives me less rot damage. This here gives me extra health, extra tolerance, extra bleed tolerance, poison tolerance, coin discovery. I'm gorgeous! Hey, Patsy. Look at me in my little fancy floral dress. Summon the helicopter? What would the helicopter do for me? Be cool. You got me there. This is fart guy. I don't want to mess with fart guy. I have no qualms with you, fart man. <laughs> That fart guy, we gotta beat him for principle. But, oh my god, has he stomped our ass. My ass. You guys are doing great. I love you. You're doing great. Kick my butt, though. Punch him in the dick. We did. I forgot what we're supposed to be doing right now. Lord, nobody wants you to take a picture of a spirit. We need to take a picture of the dude playing the piano. Find a way through the hedge maze. Felix needs the rusty cage key. It's somewhere disgusting. Probably in the body of that... The best... The combat in this game is rough. I lost all that life to bleed. Oh, right in the mummy daddy button. Not the mama daddy button. Are you a spirit? A little rat Guy's got a gun. Random dude's got a gun. Scotty Blades on the run. Silly child. Bitch, God! Stop! Steady. Steady. Who is this loser? GG's, I guess, man. I got double teamed hardcore. Um, we got a rogue's melee ring, which does. Oh, yeah! Look at you! You was popping all that good shit a second ago, then you got kicked in your chest! It's true. Hey, Margaret! You lurk away. Hello, George. 
guys lurk away. Thanks for joining the adventure tonight. Where am I? For real, busting no cap. How come everybody's in wreck? <laughs> Hold still so I can kill you. Yeah, that's right. Don't let me forget to get a picture. The whole... Is it just me or has the map gotten darker and scarier? The map's absolutely gotten darker and scarier. What's up, Nick? Can you steal the gun? Not steal it. He, I think he might drop a gun. Somebody in the gun, somebody in the game does drop a gun, so there is melee range combat in the game. See you later. I know I need a picture. I haven't, I haven't decided if I should do the can. I guess we'll do the candle. Cool little effect that the more corrupted you are, the world changes. The befouled head artifact produces a poisonous gas cloud, poisoning the holder and anybody nearby. I don't want to get poisoned. Got like a Twin Peaks music to it. Plus 20 spell damage. Let's buy that and save it. What's up, Daniel? You want Sriracha? Sriracha sounds pretty good. Okay. Mm to the clock. The clock is... In the strange bedroom, I think. Best statue in the whole game? And no, in the whole world. Set the clock time. Why would it be midnight and then 30 seconds to midnight? We'll do 30 seconds to midnight. Why is that grandfather clock dinging? There must be something in the map somewhere that needs to hear the bell toll to be used or boobies. Making spells, making spells, this spell was kind of lame. Making spells, making spells, this spell was kind of lame. Making spells, making spells, 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 spells. All 
All right, we got our armor back up. That's the best spell in the game is the armor. How's usually kicking your butt? Mine too, buddy. It, I really have been eating local honey. That does help a lot with allergies, but it's still... This may be the first time since years I've had to go get an allergy shot. Oh yeah, the coffin chamber. Is this where you access the coffin chamber? Oh yeah. And there's Mr. Coffin. If I remember right, that axe does not do a lot of damage. Oh, we should have made healing candle. We got three. All that flower jizz, you know it, buddy. It's there's pluses and minuses. I can't stand winter time. I I have seasonal depression hardcore. I can't stand it when it's cold outside and it's dark all the time. So there's one plus to the allergies. I know that you know dark is getting ready to be over with. It's getting ready to be daytime again. I'll longer summertime. Ain't playing that game. Melee fights, man. You just want to get up in there and get your ass smashed. How do I get unpoisoned? Alright, I found some poison, I think. No, I found some pure acid. How do I get unpoisoned? Help! Okay, it just goes away. Honey unpoisons you? I wonder how much the axe does actually do. Not as much as the pipe. Doesn't make any sense. And fancy yourself at night. Is there any other war cry that brings more people to their feet than hearing somebody go, ah? <laughs> That'll teach them. I can't come in and take all these doors and open them and then not shut them again. That would be very, would be very good of me. I already wasted that armor spell. That blows. I hear you. Is it the giant witch? Yep, the giant witch. Y'all want to see something cool? Tell Gandalf I said hi, bitch! Well, that barely heard it. Search the body. Ding dong. Should use my life stealing spell. Mm, we're hurt, man. 
man. We probably need a little, little bit of healing soon. No handle on that door. And oh, shit! She's back. We might as well heal up. I could have used the spell, but she's pretty fast, though. Weird. Ow! <laughs> Anything else want to kill me? Huh? Huh? We're taking a request. Anything else want to kill me? Ooh, a healing scone. Noise. Nothing heals like wheat. She's a mutant. She's something all right. She's blasting my ass. The reason why I'm going through here and not going outside is because I'm just coming through here and trying to get as many items as I can. Storage is where that dude's at, but I can't save him yet. That's the path to nowhere. I think Nowhere's got some stuff that we need. I need to craft some shit before we go any further. I can craft some stuff in the laboratory real quick. I really need to make spells. We'll go to the laboratory and we'll make a healing jar. Hell yeah. We just... Give me all the healing jar. Hell yeah! Now I just need to make a couple spells and we're full up on healing. Which is real nice. There's been heartache and pain. I want to know what love is. <laughs> Let's level up. Oh. I know that luck is really, really good. I keep getting told that luck is OP. Agility. Man, we need a lot of stuff to level up now. We need human fingers and corrupted livers. But we're level eight now. And we're poor. How the hell did I end up here? This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Pretty sure we can do spells in the occult library. We'll do a couple of protection spells and then we'll go on out to the maze. I think. Yeah. We're good. Let's ride. To the maze where that flaming dude's at. That ought to be fun. I kind of feel like we should kill the big guy first. It did say something about the path that you're trying to find don't open up to the naked eye. Spirit twigs, warding candles. Useful. Camera, Bible, curse explorer ring, ring of perception. Oh, that thing curses you so you can see 
That's right, you can't you can't know where to go without getting a little bit of curse on you. The lion statue, you think we should listen to the lion statue? Alright. He said the ring of perception. We don't have that one. Get a little bit more curse so we can see. This blows. I mean, I'm sure we'll probably get cursed enough as the game goes on. Black cross ring. Plus 10 max health, plus 10 max curse tolerance. That's really good. Harvest field spell. This guy right here sucks. He's hard to hit. As he stands here and lets me well on him in front of all of you guys. Make me look stupid. You dumbass! You've always fought me really hard. Whatever. Slug looking joker. I swear, man. Last time it was a big giant flaming dude. He was literally running around on fire jumping at us. I need to be more cursed. This doesn't feel natural. I don't like it. Cursed enough now. Three suits of armor or dolls will enchant to do battle. Alright, we need to do that. Next time I see a bunch of armor guys in a row. To the weary traveler lost in night, breathes many a long inside, and marks the welcome dawn of light with rapture in his eye. In memory of Anne Mostyn, love and mother to twins, Peter and Priscilla. Love you, my arm. Candle ring, a gold ring with a tiny candle on it, produces a small amount of light. Nice. The zombie outfit. A revolting cloth once belonging to an undead creature, when worn over the face, can fool most undead into thinking the wearer is one of them. Oh. So I can use it to be undercover. Let's try it out. That's pretty cool. Let's give it a shot. 
Let's see if we can go undercover. Also, where can I do my remembrance? Whoa, this is right out of Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fools them every time. There's no way they'll know that it's me, guys. We got this. This, this is as fast as I can go, though. Let's get a little bit more curse because we're going to need to to see the secret entrances. This has been my favorite game you've played in a while. This is a gamer's game right here. This is a gamer's game. It's artsy. It's it's unique. It takes risks. It's got cool monsters. Alright. Let's step out here and see if these monsters can recognize us. We've got a little red on us. Let's see if this works. Don't forget, folks, if you're not done so yet... Add your own fuel to the blade fire. We all gather around for tonight's adventure. Thank you to everybody who has liked, laughed, or lurked. Pay tribute to tonight's adventure. David Marold with the six bones. Brian Lee gifting 10 members. Zach B with several tributes tonight. Jared Magic Man, Melt Millennial, Mama Justice gifting five members. Bright okra is fantastic. Yeah, I love fried okra. I can't really do anything breaded anymore, but I like fried okra a lot. Okay, he knows that I'm not a zombie. That's about some bullshit. They all know I'm not a zombie. What the fuck? Book of Blades, chat. You know the old Indian saying? It was a child, too. Aw, oh, man. You know the old Indian saying? If you take a photograph of an Indian, you fill its soul? This place sucks. I definitely need to change some stuff around. Stop screaming! I want to hang on to the spell ring, so let's get rid of projectile damage. I don't use projectiles. So we'll bring on spell damage. I don't like the shield, so we'll get rid of the shield. Projectile. Max health and curse tolerance, and then I can pick one more. What was the chance? Melee from behind. We'll do the crit. We're in the crit. 
We fell in the crit. Fall in the crit. As much as I don't want to, we need to heal our psycho. I don't know why this reminds me of I Wanna Know What Love Is. It's been hot and pain. Look up! It's still raining blood from the sky. Ooh! Ooh! We did it. We got through. Nice. Can I summon that knight? Well, she looks cool. With some crazy wank eyes. Whoops. I'm not talking to you right now. I guess I have to talk to her. Enzies. Ah, fresh face. You look about the same age as me. Your face still looks intact, though. I think my body must be rotten in reality. My face is the first to go in the dream. My name's Emma. Not that it matters. I'll make you a deal. Bring me an enchant spell and I'll help you break into the mausoleum. I'm glad I didn't use that to summon those guys. You're going to like what's inside. Trust me. The first witch can teach you how to make your own enchant. I am so glad. I don't have to run all the way back. Because that would be a long way. and We barely got here. You know. I've been thinking. This is a boss fight. I gotta fight this giant dude. Well, shit. What's in there is pretty valuable. I think I'll keep it for myself. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Check out that guy's face. I'm not sure what's up with that music. All right, I'm done. I'm not ready there. Right, let me save. I playing this again? Uh, I don't know, man. I really like it, but viewership dropped off significantly when I started playing it. People, you know how that goes. We'll watch you play anything, Scotty, and then you play what you want, and it never, never pans out. All right, folks, thank you all for everything tonight. Love you big time. I'll see you some other time. Goodbye, everybody. I really like this game, though. I really enjoy it. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.